On Monday, uh, ESPN hosts uh, an anchor woman, Jamal Hill, made a bit of a Twitter rant against the POTUS. So you know who I'm talking about, President Trump? Pretty much, let me put it in perspective, uh, paraphrase it, Trump, you know, she's sick and tired of Trump being this white supremacist. She should be president. He should be president. I will say yes. That is true. Now, the White House and a lot of uh, conservatives just lost their minds. It's like, brain, heads opened up, brain escapes, brain runs off, and they just go bitch and moan. So, why? Easy. The White House, well, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders wanted Jamal Hill fired. Wanted ESPN to take action for her uh, Twitter rant and say she doesn't deserve to be in this program. Now, before you go on and say, I agree, hear me out. People are also arguing that this is a double standard because... You had Jamel, you have Jamel Hill on Monday, and then you had a few year, a couple years ago, you had Kurt Schilling uh, posting on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and he got canned. So I can see the double standard going on here. But here's the point that I would see that people are overestimating. Ready for this? I got it. That was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Here we go. Jamel Hill was attacking one person, and that would be the President of the United States. That would be President Trump. About his, about his uh, rants and ramblings about supporting the Ku Klux, uh, the white supremacists. After what happened in Charlottesville, uh, when, the, when a member of the Unite the Right killed a counter-protester, Heather Heyer, in this protest. And now he's probably he's facing the minimum of life in prison for this. Well, I probably shouldn't say minimum, but that's what he's looking at right now. So, now back uh, when North Carolina announced their transgender bathroom laws... You had Kurt Schilling, who said, who had posted different memes, talking about you know having you know men, the men's room are for people who have a penis, women's room does not. It, pretty much, he got canned for his take on the transgender bathroom laws, which is political. Now ESPN, who is trying to be apolitical, came to both of these two. Came to both of them. Jamel Hill, in her in her statement, said that I, I, this was just out of my opinion. I I wanted to get up. I wanted to bang up to the president, and and pretty much ESPN said, "Okay, well, listen. I understand what you're going through. Just don't do this again." Her chilling has been warned a few times. He had this uh, bathroom meme with a man, with a man who had these this prostitute like latex outfit talking about these bathroom laws, and he got fired for it. Now he now he speaking to uh, Smearscon Smearscon, however you pronounce him, said that he was fired for being conservative. On a network where you're supposed to keep the politics out and talk about sports, yeah, you got fired for being a conservative. That makes no sense at all. He got fired for, for repeatedly posting political memes and political posts about political rants about well, what's going on in America. Jamel Hill only Jamel Hill only attacked one person. Kurt Schilling attacked many, and many of those were the transgenders. So for those people who think this is a double standard, let me remind you of something. 
It's not because one was venting out of frustration, the other was being political. And he can claim that, you know, he got fired for being a conservative. That's his problem. Hmm. Now, a lot of people have actually stood up for Jamel Hill <laughs> and after the president. Hmm. And I, I see this one meme, and here's what it says. Only in America can you defend white supremacists from the White House and then demand the firing of a black woman who calls you a bigot. And the same is true. If anyone should be fired from his job, it should be him. We have seen Donald Trump in many, many chances to be straight, be presidential. And guess what? He has failed on every occasion. Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Harvey, he made it all about himself. Especially Hurricane Irma, where he says, look, this is the time where we need to do talk about tax breaks. No, it needs to be talked. About, it needs to be talked about. Is relief for the people who are affected by these natural disasters. He's also one of those people who doesn't who denies climate change. They are going. I mean, you've seen these storms. There were four of them. You had Hurricane Harvey. You have her, You had Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Jose. Now Hurricane Katia. You also have him <laughs> defending vote and defending neo-nazis after what happened in Charlottesville this is supposed to be the president of the United States he should be presidential and yet he's been acting more of a concern he's been more of a confederate than he has been a president I now, more evidence has come out. Now, I'm not going to describe this evidence. Um, there are postings online that, on Facebook, which a lot of conservatives have actually looked into, a lot of Trump supporters have looked into, that says that uh, there's more evidence that could actually draw conclusions to how to deal with the Trump administration or how Trump will be impeached. <laughs> Believe me, I agree with the meme that I, uh, that I found here. If anyone should be fired from his job, it should be Donald Trump. 